I realize an encourager needs to be encouraged. What do you do when you're leading while bleeding? Helping other people, but you're the one hemorrhaging. You're strong for everyone else, but who's strong for you? I'm wondering, have you checked on your strong friend today? Have you checked on your loved one lately? Today on In The Mix, let's have a courageous conversation about healing the healer. Why there's greatness in your brokenness. Oh, I'm mic'd up. Join me and let's mix it up. Good people, how you doing? How you living? How's it going? What's happening? I hope you are doing well. Well, family, we're going to have a courageous conversation. I do need you to hit the thumbs up button on this chat. Come on, hit the thumbs up button on this video. Yeah, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Come on, while you hit the thumbs up button, you hit the subscribe button as well. Come on, do that for me. I appreciate it even in advance. Now I need you to drop some light bulb emojis in the chat. We're getting ready to have a conversation of illumination, a conversation of incredible inspiration. We got to pay that light bill. <laughs> yes, we do. We got to do it for real. We do that by dropping some light bulb emojis in the chat. Let's light it all the way up, family. Yeah, we too lit to quit. We're going to make it all the way 100 watts. We're going to keep it 100. Yes, yes, yes. Why? Because we are the light of the world and of course in the midst of this conversation of illumination we're going to spotlight we are going to highlight very very important topic if i do say so myself and that is healing the healer mm -hmm. why there is breakthrough why there's greatness rather in your brokenness and you're going to get a breakthrough for real it's going to be a breakthrough that is going to impact, that is going to encourage, and that is going to empower you. Family, make sure that you share this with somebody. Share if you care. Courageous conversation. Mm hmm. Yes, yes. On our channel for change, our channel that creates change, our channel that breaks chains. Here's what I realize. You're talking about healing the healer, why there's greatness in your brokenness. I realize that healing is not a masculine or even just a feminine thing is not based on gender. Healing is a human thing. Come on, family, just type healing. Type healing. Healing is a human thing. Why is that? Because life has left immense and profound scars on each and every single one of us. We can't just go through life numbing the pain. We can't just go through life acting as if it doesn't exist, acting as if it's not even there. That we're impervious to pain. That all of our pain receptors are gone and our tear ducts have dried up. No, we can't go through life like that. We're all in some, we're all in need of some form of healing. We all are. No matter how tough we portray ourselves to be, no matter how much we act as if we're all that and nothing bothers us, we all have a fragile do not drop label in our lives. And this is what we must do. We must be committed to our own healing. We must be committed to our own character development. We, we've got to roll up our sleeves and engage, as Dr. King would say, in the fierce urgency of now. We can't delay it. We can't put it off. We can't say tomorrow because tomorrow turns into next year. Tomorrow turns into years and years and years later and years from now. 
We have to seize the moment. And in order to seize the moment, family, here's what we're going to have to do. As we're molding and making, as God is molding and making us and shift and shaping and shaking us. As he is the potter and we are the clay. Talking to an old church mother the other day. And she said, most people don't realize this, that when you take clay out of the fire, because clay is forged in the fire is what she was saying. She said the, the clay maker, what they do is that they thump the clay. And the clay has to make a particular sound. And that particular sound indicates that the clay is hardened enough to remain out of the fire or it needs to go back into the fire. And she went on to say, some lady, the old lady was preaching to me. Sometimes an old mother's got some real sage wisdom. And she was saying, you know what? I've been thumped in life. She said she was having some back pain. She said, that's just, that's just me being thumped. So that's just God thumping me because who the Lord loveth, he correcteth, he chasteneth. He said, life will thump you sometimes. Are you going to cave in? Are you going to cower? You're going to throw in the towel? You're going to give up? You're going to cry, what was me? You're going to wear the pity party hat? Or are you going to say, listen, I'm a, I am clay in the potter's hand. God is shifting me. God is shaping me. God is molding me. God is making me. He is developing me into who and what he has called me to be. Mm-hmm. Come on, family. Type developed. Type developed. I'm forged in the fire. Process in the fire. But it's just like fire shut up in my bones. Been through the fire, but guess what? I ain't gonna come out smelling like smoke. You gonna come out smelling like Theory Mugler. My dear sister from another mister. You gonna come out, bruh. Smelling like Chanel Blue. I see you. You gonna come out smelling like Versace. <laughs> yeah, had a yeah, yeah, had a had to roll it on that one. Versace, yeah. You gonna come out smelling like Issy Miyagi. Gonna come out smelling like Jean Paul Gaultier. Let me say what I need to say today. Yeah. Coming through the fire, but you don't smell like no smoke. Like the three Hebrew boys. Turned up the fire. That even the people who threw them in the fire were the ones who were burned. But not even a singe of their clothing, much less their hair, was encapsulated with the fire. You went through the fire, but you're coming out as pure gold. And here's the thing. Life has oftentimes tried to rust us. And, I, and, and arrest. Rust and arrest our development. But we got to be committed to our own healing. We got to be committed to our own process. We got to be committed to our own character development. And in order to do that, we have to ask some tough questions, my dear brothers and sisters. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna ask, we got to really ask some serious, tough questions if we are going to find the answers. Why is that? If you can't be real with you, if you can't be real with you, then you will never be real with anyone else, too. You got to first be real real with yourself come on family you you can't tap your neighbor but just type your neighbor type 100 in the chat come on drop some 100s in the chat got to keep it real with you got to keep it 100 with you because if you can't do that with you you'll never do that with anybody else too and here's some questions that we got to ask ourselves what am i doing to heal from my trauma what am i doing to mitigate my triggers do I even know what my triggers are? Because many of us were more in a place of trauma and triggers than we are in truth and transformation. We're seeped in, we're steeped in trauma and triggers, but not truth and transformation. What are you doing to heal from your trauma? How are you dealing with your particular war wounds and your scars? What are the barriers that are in your life that are preventing you from manifesting your destiny and your purpose and your calling and your commitment to excellence? What wisdom have you found from your mother wounds or your father wounds? Hello, somebody. Real, real, real courageous conversation that we're having right here. Courageous conversation. Who are you at your core? What has shaped you and I, what has shaped your identity? 
What has shaped you into who it is that you are? What has shaped your identity as a man? What has shaped your identity as a woman? What improvements can you make in your relationships? What are you doing to develop your emotional intelligence? Do you push people away based upon your particular attitude? When you cry, woe is me and nobody likes me. To where you just want to be so mentally victimized. But are you also the perpetrator? What are you doing daily to improve your mental health? How are you handling your mental health and your mental sagacity and even your emotional wellness? What are you doing for your self-development and your process? Do you engage in self-care? What do you do for self-care? Who are your counselors? Who is your therapist? Do you go to counseling? Do you go to therapy? Who are your mentors? What are you doing to be a better man? What are you doing to be a better woman? What are you doing to be a better husband? What are you doing to be a better wife? What are you doing to be a better father? What are you doing to be a better mother? Better brother, better sister? The list goes on and on and on. These are some of the questions that we have to ask ourselves and that we also have to provide answers for. Right. It's it's one thing to have courageous conversations with people. But it's another thing to have a courageous conversation with yourself as a person. And many of us never even step into that particular aspect because oftentimes it's too painful you have to look at yourself in the mirror to actually see yourself clear it is it is about self-awareness it is about emotional intelligence that is the key and that emotional intelligence is going to either open up keys is going to either open up doors that emotional intelligence key is going to either open up doors of opportunity or it's going to lock those doors due to a fact due to the fact of A lack of self-development, not one who has matured, right? Just because you are of a certain age does not mean that you are of a certain stage. (laughs) Let me say that again. You can be of a certain age and not be of a certain stage. Your stage of maturity may not have caught up with your age. Because some of us are are really in in a place of Arrested development. You 35, but you act like you're three, four or five. You, you, you want to throw temper tantrums as if you have your person with the terrible twos. Hmm. Have not gotten to a particular place to where you have matured and so now here's what you do you have resigned to being being a grown boy or you have resigned to being a grown girl what are your challenges what are your struggles what healthy boundaries are you enacting are you putting in place in order so that you can remain committed to your commitment this is not just for the curious this is for the serious I seriously want to grow. I seriously want to get better. I seriously want to stop blame shifting. I seriously want to take ownership for my life. I seriously want to move into a place of responsibility, respectability, and accountability. That's got to be the mentality. Come on, family. Type, I got to have it. Type, I got to have it. I got to have it. I got to have the self-love. I got to have the self-development. I got to have the purpose. I got to have the greatness of who it is that I am. I have to have it. And here's what I have to do. I have to participate in what it is that I want to have and what it is that I want to receive and what it is that I want to get and what it is that I want to gain. And this broadcast is gaining momentum. And that's what we're doing right here and up and here, up and here in the mix. We're mixing it all the way up. 
don't tell me that you're you watch in the mix, but you're not a member of in the mix. Come on, I'm I'm, I'm mixed up. I'm, I'm I'm not understanding that. I need you to be involved. Come on, family. I need you to get involved. You say, well, how do I get involved? Partner with me. Partner with me. Come on, all this good content that I deliver each and every single day, Monday through Friday. Come on, don't just soak it up. Don't just absorb it and not pour into it. Not so into it. Not partner with me on it. Mm Mm-hmm. And you can partner with me simply by becoming a member of In The Mix. You can purchase one of our badges for as little as $9.99. And that's why it's so colorful in this conversation. That's why you see, as you're watching our live chat, why you see members who may have green, who may have red, who may have whatever color badge that they may have, simply because that signifies and identifies them as a member of In The Mix. We have three particular tiers, VIP, Royalty, OQP. Go ahead and purchase one of them. Go ahead and support one of them. That helps us to broaden our broadcast. That helps me to take this kind of content to not just neighborhoods, but also nations, cities and communities, locally, nationally, globally. You can help to stream this word throughout various parts. And also help us to get the type of equipment so that we can make this show even bigger, better, and brighter. Won't you do that? Won't you help me out? Won't you be a partner? I appreciate you even in advance. The link is in the chat. The link is in the description for how to become a member of In The Mix. All you have to do is just tap the join button and become a member. And my give, and my gift to you is that I'm giving you access to our Connor's Corner content. Behind the scenes footage, things I don't talk about necessarily on social media and on the YouTube side, giving you a behind the scenes perspective into the spectrum of my life to empower you. Family, hit the thumbs up button on this video. Hit the thumbs up button on this video. Hit the thumbs up button on this video. Also, tap the subscribe button as well. I don't want you to be a ghost follower at all. I want you to hit the subscribe button. And because here's the thing, Many of us, as we're talking about healing the healer, let, let, let's reset the room. If you're just joining us, we're talking about healing the healer. The fact that there is greatness in your brokenness. Yeah, why there's greatness in your brokenness. We're going to get into all of this. An encourager oftentimes needs to be encouraged. Because for many of us, if we'll really be honest, we're leading while we're bleeding. We're helping other people while we're hemorrhaging. Right? Who checks on the strong person? Most people are surprised when the strong person is in a place where they are challenged or they're having a challenging moment. Because we have oftentimes anesthetized ourselves to the pain. People have anesthetized themselves to the fact and resigned themselves to the fact that maybe we're not even human. Maybe we're just a machine. Maybe there's not actually blood that pumps through our veins. Maybe it's just steel. (laughs) And still, the fact remains that sometimes the healer needs healing. Sometimes we're searching out the fact that we're trying to go into a relationship to find healing. Hmm. Because you expect somebody else to now be your healer. You expect somebody else to absorb your trauma. You expect somebody else to do for you what was not done for you. You expect that person to be your father. You expect that person to be your mother. And they can never be. You expect that person to bring you happiness. No, here's the thing. You ought to have a level of happiness that is on your own, that is congruent to you, that is outside of the realm of somebody trying to make you happy. Nobody can make you happy, but they can add to your happiness. You ought to have happiness internally and beyond happiness because oftentimes happiness is based on what's happening. You got to have a level of joy. 
What did, what did church mom say? This joy I have, the world didn't give it. The world can't take it away. And oftentimes people are giving it to you and taking it away from you. And it's really not joy at all. It's just the feeling of what it is that makes you happy. Joy says, despite what it is that I've experienced, I'm still optimistic. I'm not pessimistic. I'm still hopeful because I have not resigned myself to the fact to know that if God is for me, who can be against for me? Who can be against me? If God is for me, who can be against me? And matter of fact, whoever's against you, the who doesn't even matter. You'll always make bad choices when you choose from weakness rather than from strength. You always make bad choices when you choose out of hurt rather than out of healing. From a place, from a lens, from a perspective, from a spectrum of healing. Too many times we're trying to choose somebody to change somebody. Oh, did you hear what I just said? You're trying to choose somebody to change somebody. You want to fix somebody. Some, for some of us, here's, here's the thing, really. We are attracted to broken people. <laughs> oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. You're attracted to broken people. You got so much trauma that is unaddressed and unresolved in your life that you end up trauma bonding. You're attracted to broken people because now fixing somebody makes you feel significant. Fixing somebody makes you feel valuable. Fixing somebody now makes you feel superior. But somebody who is on the level of healing that you're on, now you feel a little bit inferior because maybe they're in a space and place to where they have evolved. They have developed more than it is that you have. And so now it puts a light on your scars. It puts a light on what is incongruent in your life. It puts a light on the dark places in you. And so you'd rather just shine with somebody who's broken than to deal with the dark wounds of what it is that you've experienced with somebody who's healed. Y'all don't want to talk to me today, but it's going to be revealed. Come on, come on. This is not just a conversation that's just information, just inspiration. No, this conversation of revelation. Some, some things I want to say, but here's the thing. I'm going to reserve it just for my Eagles Academy. I'm not going to go all the way there today. I got to reserve some stuff just for my Eagles Academy members. If you're not a member of my Eagles Academy, what are you doing? Come on, family. I need you to make sure that you join me in my Eagles Academy. And you can do that right now. Go to theeaglesacademy.com, theeaglesacademy.com, theeaglesacademy.com. If you want to grow, if you want to shift, if you want to transform, if you really, really want to change, if you really want to increase your ideas, your impact and your influence, then what are you waiting on? My community is tailor made for you. Your gifts, your purpose, your identity, your perspective, the landscape of your life. I want to show you how to shift from where it is that you are to where you can be. I want to show you how to level up. I want to show you how to spread your wings and soar because if you spread your wings, you'll win. I want to show you how to move really into that place of, of a healed mentality. Thinking next level, innovative mindset, you owe it to you to get into the specific zone of genius of what it is that we have with amazing eagles just like you. Come on, family, drop some eagle emojis in the chat. While well, moving into a place of accountability, responsibility, identity, and they're soaring with their abilities. Go right now to eaglesacademy.com. When you get there, tap the join now button, fill out the form, be transformed. Family. We're going to have a courageous conversation. We've got a little bit more coming to you. Go and stick and stay. I want you to stick and stay. More is coming your way. Got a little breakthrough message in the midst of this message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little interruption right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's about being a disruptive thinker. I want to stream this special message in the midst of this special message. I want you to stick and stay. More is coming your way. After these messages, family, I'll be right back. Our schools are underfunded, teachers are underpaid, and our children are undereducated. Our classrooms, culture, curriculum, and communities are in crisis like never before. Education is the key, but the lock is broken. So how do we fix it? I'm so glad that you asked. I'm giving you strategies in my new book. It's my 17th book, by the way, called Strategies for Successful Schools. 
How to Develop Adverse Classroom of Learners Who Read, Lead, and Succeed. This is a book that's available right now for our educational leaders. It's a must read for school board members, parents, community advocates, transformative teachers, and yes, for those of you who desire to see our children lead and succeed. But not only that, so many of our young people are struggling with their academics, their mental well-being, limiting beliefs, procrastination, interpersonal trauma, and just feeling like they're hopeless. But what if there was a go-to guide to empower you to be a champion and our children to be a champion and empower them to overcome challenges? Here's the good news. I've got another book for you. It's my 18th one. Learners are leaders. Strategies and solutions for student success. It's got a 31-day journal in there. It's got affirmations, really a lot of valuable life lessons, ways to set smart goals for success, improve your mental well-being, foster academic success, so much more that is in store when you get not just one, but both of these books. They're both available right now on Amazon. Yeah, go get it right now. But also, you can get signed copies that are available at theeaglesacademy.com forward slash books. Don't just get them for you, but also get them for someone else too. Yes, yes, y'all. And you know we don't stop. Come on, family. I need you to heed to these resources that you've heard. Let's get back to the word. I like that. We're talking about healing the healer. Why? There's greatness in your brokenness. Come on, family. Type greatness. Type greatness. God is bringing greatness out of your great mess. You are a masterpiece. Why? Because you are a piece of the master. And here's what I understand. It's never the right time if it's the wrong person. A lot of times we're rushing into what it is that we eventually end up regretting. We want to fix other people. We want to make sure that, you know, we shine our best and this, that, and the other, and we know how to just go along and get along. Mm-hmm. We rush into what we're trying to pray ourselves out of. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Y'all really don't want to talk to me today, but I won't tell the truth. I won't tell like a T.I. is. And here's what I realized. You never want to lower your standards just for the sake of having somebody. Or including people in your life. Because here's the thing. If you have people in your life and they're not supporting you, you don't have a support, you don't have a support system. You don't have a circle. You have a cage. Sometimes you got to be the best that you can possibly be by yourself. Aspiring to be the best. Attaining the best. Settling for nothing less. And oftentimes, here's what we have been. We have been so hurt. We've been so broken. We've been so disappointed that what we do now is we now lower our level of expectation. We don't even believe no more. We don't even hope anymore. We don't even think big anymore. We don't even expect miracle signs and wonders. We don't even expect exceedingly, abundantly, above all. As the scripture says that we can ask or think. Because oftentimes our expectation and our experience didn't align. <laughs> Are y'all hearing me? Ooh, that's good. Oftentimes our expectation and our experience didn't align. What you expected showing up wasn't you what you experienced. Hmm? You expected this person to be this particular type of way. And you experienced them to be shown up another way. You expected their attitude to be, you know, peaches and cream, dancing through daisies, beautiful. You, you never thought they was going to talk to you some type. So you never, you never thought they were going to talk to you sideways. Hmm? Sitting sideways all in a daze. Y'all know that old school Paul Wall song. And they was acting off the wall. And I ain't talking about a Michael Jackson album. Attitude was totally off the wall. Hmm? And now you're trying to, trying to decide, is this really who this person really is? Hmm? Because what I'm experiencing is not what I expected. Not at all. 
But that's really who they are. <laughs> what, what did my Angelou say? When people show you who they are, believe them. Sometimes we're trying to believe people the second, third, fourth, fifth time. No, 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 no. When you saw, when you, when you saw that flare up, that's them. That's them. That's her. That's him. And because of the prolonged hurt, we stop seeking the best and we start settling for the worst. Come on, family, just type more. Type more. You more than that nasty attitude. You more than that bad relationship. You more than that toxic connection. You more than that depression. You more than that trauma. You more than those triggers. You more than that mother wound. You more than that father wound. You more than that stagnant stinking thinking that keeps you sulking and sinking. You more than imposter syndrome. You're more than emotional potholes. You are more than a scarcity mindset. You're more than emotional snipers. You're more more than all that family than emotional squatters. And as a result, here's what people become. A lot of times people just you know, they just bounce from relationship to relationship to relationship to relationship to relationship. They just become serial daters. They, they treat relationships like an NBA player because all they do is rebound. Yeah. They act as if they're in the NBA and all they're doing is rebounding. From relationship to relationship, taking old baggage into new connections. Different people and new relationships will never be band-aids to cover your hemorrhaging wounds. I need you to hear me when I'm talking to you. Trying to be around leaders will never stop you from bleeding until you step into a leadership capacity and leadership role in your own life to stop the bleeding. Got to take the time to do the, the, the real serious hard work to really be present with yourself. To understand that your presence is a present. And I'm not just talking about your presence in the life of somebody else. That show sure enough is. But I'm talking about the presence of your own presence being a present to yourself. I got to have God's presence. But I also have to be present in my own emotions. I have to be present in my own feelings. I have to be present to where I'm now thinking about my life in a different way. I have to be present. And give myself the present of love, peace, increase, solitude, silence, serenity. You got to go within or you'll always be without. Got to heal from the trauma and the unresolved issues. And what I love about it is that God always gives us healing tissues for our hurting issues. Because if you don't do any of that, you will always bleed on people who did not cut you. Bleeding on people with your face card. Because all you do, you just cutting everybody else up with the rolling of your eyes, the slanting of your eyebrows. The three snaps in the neck roll. Trying to give everybody a piece of your mind, but you're only left with just a piece of your mind, but no peace of mind. Because you're dealing with trying times. Now, you're continually entangled over and over again with yokes of bondage. You keep running back to what you ought to be delivered from. When God gets you out, here's what you got to do. You got to stay out. Come on, family. Type stay out. Stay out. Stay out of the gossip. Stay out of the gaslighting. Stay out of the narcissism. Stay out of the blame shifting. Stay out of the toxic connections. Stay out of the trauma bonding. I wonder. I just really wonder. Do you ever have a flashback? And say, God, you know what? I just want to thank you. Mm-hmm. Come on, family. Type thank you. 
Come on, family, type thank you. God, I just want to thank you for the relationship that didn't work out. <laughs> Woo! Mm-hmm. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, y'all. And we don't stop. I, I want to do you ever just have a flashback? God, I want to thank you for the relationship that didn't work out. I want to thank you for interrupting and not giving me what what I thought I needed. What I desired. Not my will, but your will be done. I want to thank you for interrupting. I, I want to thank you for not giving me what, what I thought that I needed. Is it just me? Okay, all right. Yep. There it is then. Let me give you this one for let me give you this one on credit with no interest. <laughs> Lord, I want to thank you for removing from me what I wouldn't let go of. Oh, that's taking it to another degree. Mm-hmm. I want to thank you for removing from me what I wouldn't let go of. <laughs> Somebody, you just missed your shout. You, you just you just missed your shout. Mm-hmm. God had to literally take away from you what was hurting you. Why? Because you were so obstinate. You were so stiff necked. You were so headstrong. And you wouldn't let go of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, th oh, this is mine. This person's mine. I'm I'm not letting nothing. Uh, nope. Nope. You over here hurting and hemorrhaging, bleeding, crying, soaking your pillow with tears for years. Wouldn't let go of it. God had to deliver you from it. You were so numb to it and you were too blind to see it. Everybody else could see it. You, you got one of them friends. I don't know if you ever had one of them friends. Whenever they got some relationship problems, they calling you about what this person ain't doing, this, that, and the other. And and here's the thing. Within 24 hours, they back with the person. You just got to get to the place. What's up? Mm-hmm. Now, now here, here's the thing. Okay, don't, don't even go no further. Are you going back to the person or not? Okay, all right. Have a good day. Come on. I ain't got time to be listening to all that. Are you going back to them or not? And in fact, you holding their hand while you're on the phone talking bad about them. If they're that bad, go. Stay out. No, no, no. no, no, no I'm not going to treat me like a garbage can. Just dump all your junk on me. Ain't going to happen over here. Sometimes God will break your heart. In order to break you free. Come on family. Take breakthrough. Hear me. I know it broke your heart. I know they broke your heart. But it fixed your vision. It gave you a greater resilience. It turned up your tenacity. It gave you a greater level of focus. To where you're fearless. Yeah with them you were fearful. In a hill place now, you're fearless. Why? Because yes, it was painful, but hear me, God made it purposeful. Come on, family, type purposeful. It was painful, but God flipped the script. God turned that thing around and it became purposeful. It was an embarrassment, but it became a testimony. A few years ago. A few years ago, my mother had an inadvertent accident. And what happened is that she had injured her foot. Yeah. Had an inadvertent accident. Injured her, injured her foot. I'm with her at the podiatrist. Right? Foot doctor. And during her visit to the podiatrist, she received an x-ray. Doctor 
evaluated the results and told her, as you know, they're hanging up the x-ray on the screen. This is Dr. Connor. Got some bad news and some good news. Yeah. My mom, Dr. Connor. Doctor says to my mom, the bad news is that your ankle is broken. I'm thinking to myself, okay, what's the good news about that? <laughs> Shouldn't you just put a period there? Bad news is that your ankle is broken. The doctor said, the good news is that it's in the perfect position to heal. <laughs> so, so, some of that, that just went over your head. Woo-wee. I, I could have done ran around the doctor's office because I heard that she was preaching. Bad news that your ankle is broken. But the good news is that you're in the position, the perfect position to heal. Mmm. Why breakthroughs coming out of your brokenness. Greatness is coming out of your brokenness. The healer in you is being healed. The bad news is that they broke you. But the good news is that you're in the perfect position to heal. And you need to hear me. You need to realize this, that despite what has happened to you, despite what you have experienced, you are still in the perfect position to heal. <laughs> good night. God bless y'all. I ain't got nothing else to say. I, I could just end it right there. Mm-hmm. A good steak makes its own gravy. I'm cooking. What has happened to you or what you have experienced has not made you so far gone. But you are still in the perfect position to heal. Sometimes the devil has you right where God wants you to be. Why? Because the, the situation is bringing about revelation. The situation is bringing about manifestation. The situation is birthing new determination. The situation is still putting you on the place of proximity towards your destination. Sometimes the devil has you right where God wants you to be because now he's drawing you closer to him. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. Come on, family, type joy. Type joy. Type joy. The opposition you are facing is positioning you in the perfect place to break through. When people thought it would break you, God is shifting it. God has turned it around for you to break through. What was designed to put you in isolation is now birthing new revelation in your spirit. Hear me. I need you to hear me, family. The very thing that the enemy used against you, God will use to transform you. If God be for us, who can be against us? And when God is for us, even the who doesn't matter. It was painful. But it became purposeful. Why? So that you could become successful. Good success is over your life. Come on, family, type good success. God is healing the healer in you. You've helped so many other people. You've wondered who's going to help me. People got your number to call. But when you call them, they send you the voicemail. You can't find any help in the daytime with a flashlight. I know how it is that you're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Come on, family, just type, I'm going to be all right. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? We're going to be all right. Yeah, do you hear me? Do you hear me? Do you feel me? You're going to be all right. Why? Because weeping may endure for a night. But only one night, though. That's what Ty Tripper said. And God is healing the healer in you. 
His healing is producing a greater revealing. The brokenness is leading to your greatness. Why? Because God renews your strength. When, when you've been weak, that's when he's strong for you. His grace is sufficient for you. And his grace comes with greatness. Come on, family, type more grace. Speak more grace over your life. Grace for you to handle what's heavy. Grace for the healing to reside on the inside of you. Grace for the great things that God wants to do in and through you. Grace for greatness. You're not going to hobble through your life. You're going to heal. You're not going to limp. You're going to leap. You're not going to be limited. You're going to walk into a place of limitless love. You're not going to choose people out of your weakness. You're going to choose people out of strength. There's a grace for growth on your life. There's a grace for healing that is on your life. God, God is repairing the fractures and the fissures that have been in your life. He's healing the little boy in you. He's healing the little girl that was in, that's inside of you. The one that wasn't nurtured. The one that was abandoned. The one that was overlooked. The one that was left for dead. The one that was told what they would never be, what they would never become, what they would no, never overcome, what they would never recover from. But the devil is a lie. You shall not die. You'll live. And declare the works of the Lord. Come on, family, type live. Live. Living in victory every day. You're going to live to see it happen. Yes, you are. Because it's going to be big. The healing is going to be big. The blessing, the anointing, the joy, the peace, the purpose, the promise, and the prosperity. It's going to be big. Family, I want you to sow into this word that you've heard. Yeah, I do. Now it's a debt that you owe. It is a seed that you sow. And I want you to sow where you grow. I want you to sow where you soar. I want you to partner with me. And sow into this good ground. As you're sowing your seed, I want you to name your seed as well. Your seed is helping us to meet the needs of this broadcast, to broaden our broadcast, to get the type of necessary equipment, the software development, the things that you don't even see that are behind the scenes of really how to make this operation operate. <laughs> you could help us to meet the needs so that we can go into neighborhoods and nations, cities and communities locally nationally and globally by spreading good news the good news that god has commissioned and granted us as a mandate to be kingdom influencers and change agents in this in these changing times won't you do that won't you support us won't you help us won't you partner with us you can do that by going to cash app dollar sign access identity PayPal, Zell, Eddie Connor, JR at Gmail. We've been having a super conversation. Family, drop a super chat. Drop a super sticker. You can sow into that aspect, into that arena as well. Super chat, super sticker. So will you grow, so will you soar. Cash app again, dollar sign access identity. PayPal, Zell, Eddie Connor, JR at Gmail. Link is in the chat. Links in the description of this video for how to sow and where to sow. I'm believing I'm joining my faith to yours as you even write what you're naming your seed as you're giving your seed a job. You're declaring and decreeing what you want this seed to do. And I believe God is going to do it for you. and I believe he's going to multiply it 30, 60, 100 fold. I'm joining my faith with yours that God does the exceedingly abundantly above all. That you can ask or even think. 
Don't give it another thought, family. I do want you to make sure that you join me in our, my Eagles Academy. Mm-hmm. You can partner with us on another level as well by becoming a member of our Eagles community. Community is a new currency. Camaraderie is where it's all about collaboration, connectivity. I want you to join us in our amazing Eagles community. Couldn't go all the way there of where I wanted to go because I got to save some stuff for my community. And I want you to get the whole gamut of it. Yeah. Whole gamut is in our Eagles community. Go right now to theeaglesacademy.com. When you get there, tap the join now button, fill out the form. I guarantee you're going to be transformed in your mind, in your will, in your emotions, in your spirit, in your faith, in your determination, in your purpose, in your innovative ideas. We're going to increase your ideas, your impact, and your influence. And we do that in our Zoom room. We do that in our weekly live sessions. We do that as we have our quarterly meetups. We do that. As we are granting you access into our exclusive Facebook group, we do that as I give you Eagle's Nest Reflection homework and I give you personalized feedback on it. And I shift you from where it is that you are to where you can be. We do that. Why don't you join that? Go to theeaglesacademy.com. Again, when you get there, tap the join now button, fill out the form, be transformed. We got a special rate that's available for you if you take advantage of it right now. Family, did you get anything from this? Hit the thumbs up button on this video. Hit the thumbs up button on this video. While you're doing that, hit the subscribe button as well. I hope you were blessed by this conversation. I want you to make sure that you're part of our In The Mix membership family. My given gift to you is granting you access into our members-only content. Membership has its privileges. Links in the chat, links in the description of this video for how to become a member and you can get that by getting one of the badges vip royalty oqp you're very you're a very important person with a very important purpose your royalty demands loyalty and you are an oqp type of individual only quality people you're an only quality person become a member family i just looked at my wrist in the mix at six is out of time. <laughs> yeah, I just looked at my wrist and in the mix is out of time. But y'all know, family, that I am not out of truth. I hope I fed your spirit today. And of course, I want to thank you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I want to thank you for rocking with me. I want to thank you for riding with me. I really want to thank you for rolling with me. Why? Because that's just how we roll. And we roll together each and every single weekday, Monday through Friday for In The mix no way i can pay you back but my plan is to show you that i understand and so i want you to know that you are appreciated and of course we stream on the youtube side but also on our sister satellite social media stations so i want to give you a sincere salute for watching me on those channels as well hit the notification bell hit the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button as well i just got a question for you just want to know are you my friend are we locked in? Then come on, family. Step this way. Step that way. Yes, yeah, step this way. Step that way. Not just this or that, but this and that. This way. That way. Which way? By friending me. <laughs> By following me right now. Today. This minute. This moment. Own it. On Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok. We don't stop. At Eddie Connor Jr. Come on, family. Put some respect on my name. E-D-D-I-E-C-O-N-N-O-R. JR, if I can help you, if I can serve you in any way, don't hesitate. Please reach out to me. If you're looking for a dynamic speaker, now why would you look any further? Come on, family, you know I'm the man for the job. So invite me to speak at your church, your conference, your community center, your event, your school, your graduation, your session, your college. Let's make some progression. And all you have to do to invite me is just email me, info at eddieconnor.com no e's or s's are in my last name info at eddiecornor.com and it would be an honor for me to empower you sure truly dr eddie your main man 100 grand your brother 
And I mean that. From another mother. Family has been fun, but you know a brother got to run. So I want you to know it's been a privilege and a pleasure. A treat and a treasure. A joy beyond measure. But I want you, yes you, I'm talking to you, to remember to keep the faith and believe it's going to be bigger, better, brighter, peace, and a whole lot of love. Keep soaring higher. Family, there is power in partnership, and we are better together, which is why I am on a mandated mission to activate 30, yes, 30 new action takers who are ready to soar beyond their limits. I'm ready to develop and deploy you into your gifts and your greatness. Now, are you ready? Well, get activated by joining the Eagles Academy, where we cultivate your gifts and your talents to become the greatest version of yourself. And we do this through weekly mastermind sessions where you receive strategies for exponential growth with self-paced Eagles Nest reflections that include personalized feedback to transform you, to renew your mindset, to empower you to take action and actualize your purpose. Are you an action taker? If so, today I ask you, are you ready to answer the call? Well, great. Then visit theeaglesacademy.com and become a member. For only $24.99, you will unlock unlimited knowledge and resources that will launch you and catapult you into the greatest version of yourself. I invite you to the winner's circle. On your mark, get set, go right now to theeaglesacademy.com and seize this moment.